became a real important part of my life. And so the, the, we got her to Hawaii. Six months later, she was actually walking on a beach in Hawaii. It, it was unheard of. She actually, a year later, went to a cardiologist when Aniki was hitting the islands of Hawaii, and everybody was freaking out. And for some reason, we had a doctor's appointment that day. She went in, he, had, he did the EKG, and he said, well, she's got the heart of a 20-year-old. I'm like, well, you know what happened to her? No, no, what happened? And when I told her the, him the story, he says, that's impossible. There's no heart damage. The EKG showed no heart damage. And we did nothing different except BioTouch, and she took a little coenzyme Q10. She didn't take any of the meds. They wanted to give her a ton of meds to help her in the future and with stroke. She spent the rest of her life, maybe another 10 years or so, she had stroke symptoms, but was, was right there, very sharp. She actually lived here in Tucson. She used to party with us all the time. I know, but, um, so that was the story of my mother and the importance of why I feel it's important to get this out to families. And who's effective at it? Well, not you. No. <laughs> 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 Everybody's effective. Every, if you're a human being on the planet, you're effective. Now, we haven't quite figured out how to teach dogs and horses to do it yet, but you can learn that on your own. This is a technique for human beings. You can see all the different kinds of people that are able to do it. This here was with a ITK, Integrative Touch for Kids, and it was great that these kids were able to learn it and just do it. And that, that is like within two to three minutes, they were learning how to work on one another. And they loved it. They loved it. The kids loved doing it. So everyone's affected. Any questions so far? Yes? Does it work on your pets? People have used it on their pets, on their dogs, their cats, their chickens. Somebody worked on a chicken once. Um, so if you can find the points, it'll be effective. Can you treat yourself? No, you, you can't do BioTouch as a system, but you can take the points and do them on yourself. Sometimes it's effective. Sometimes I can't reach the points as needed. But if I have a sinus problem, I might try and do it on myself. What we, what we know is it's consistently effective when one person touches another. It's not consistently effective when you work on yourself. Because sometimes you can't dissociate yourself from your own pain. You're, it's very hard. I'm so wrapped up into getting a result that it's hard for me just to be neutral with the points. But what we say is it can't hurt. But the technique BioTouch is one person touching another. And we actually have a, yes? Um, has, has there been any, <clears throat> any success on glaucoma? Yes. We have. Would you repeat the question? Glaucoma. Oh, yeah. Have we had any success with glaucoma? We have. And again, that's a good question, too, because we're not faith healers. Okay, we're not going to slap you on the forehead, except this young fellow here, we did. <laughs> All we had to do was spit in his finger. <laughs> Some guy spit in somebody's eye and he saw it once, but we just spit in his finger and he had it. <laughs> so it's about consistency. So things like glaucoma, cataracts, you know, just doing those points in a very simple set of points can actually aid in reversing those kinds of problems. The key to the technique is consistency. And that's the hardest thing to get people to do because it's so simple. The, if you think about all the things you do in your life, the last thing you do are the simplest things. We're, we're trained to stay so complicated. So we'll teach people how to do this. I mean, I'll have people get certified and they'll take you know, weeks and months to learn how to do it. And then I'll hear from them that, oh, their husband got really sick and da da da. I said, well, did you work on it? Oh my god, I forgot about it. <laughs> So our goal is to keep remembering people, which is why this is uh, Bev Wood here. She's the president of the organization. Hi, Bev. Hi. And uh, Bev and Paul do a uh, Mondays with Bev and Paul on Facebook if you ever want to ch check it out. And the reason we're doing that is for one reason, to remind people how simple this technique is, to keep putting out you know, emails and, and you know, posts to use the technology we have to remind you this is simple and it is effective so you can keep doing it and you can do those eye sets sitting in front of the TV, you can do them, you know, uh, having margaritas on Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> My mouth is watering. <laughs> so we do, I'll take a little time to show you the research and Gary Schwartz, because some people like research, they say, well, like Gary Schwartz. 
don't tell me about that. If it, do, if it doesn't show up with the data, he won't believe in it. So when he opened up the Human Energy Systems Laboratory about 15 years ago, we were one of his first uh, techniques that he actually did research with. Um, and so we were real honored to be part of his research. We also, after that, had Dr. Stevenson, who is a, a big doctor in Texas, who actually does most of her research with the big drug companies. So she gets million dollar grants from them. She got so excited about Biotouch, uh, A, because it was simple, and B, it was consistently the same, and she was getting amazing results. And then Dr. Carol McKenzie was the director of nursing. She actually incorporated Biotouch into the nursing program. So every nurse that graduated from that school at Northwestern Oklahoma State University had to have learned Biotouch. And she did research with them too. So Dr. Stevenson, and somebody asked me about how this related to other techniques. This is not negating other ne techniques. This is her data that she found out only from searching the internet. Okay, she knew nothing about alternative therapy. She was standard allopathic doctor. So she wanted to know how did Biotouch relate to these other techniques. So she looked up Biotouch, Reiki, Therapeutic Touch, or Healing Touch. And then kangaroo grooming caring, that's basically mother's touch. It's a term they use in the medical field, kangaroo touch. And so she related, she's first looked up, do you have to center or meditate or put yourself in a certain state of mind? Well, as you can see with what she found with the research, with the Reiki and therapeutic touch, there was a centering that you had to do. Not with BioTouch, and certainly not with a mother. A mother's a mother. She doesn't have to center herself to be a mother. She has that baby, that's it, okay? Uh, about reading and unruffling, you know, checking people out, doing aura checks and things like that. With um, a lot of these techniques, yes, that's required. It's not required with BioTouch any more than it is with a mother and her child. Skin-to-skin -skin contact, always with BioTouch, always with the mother. You know, when, when you had kids, if you had kids, I never had kids, but we took care of kids. When they hurt themselves, what'd you do? You put your hand on them. Oh, I'm sorry, or you kiss it. Let mommy kiss it. Let daddy kiss it. With the other techniques, occasionally skin to skin, infrequent, a lot of the techniques are now adding more skin to skin to them. A lot of them started strictly off the body. Um, and then the, the nice one is the hierarchy of two minutes and authority. There's absolutely none of that in, in BioTouch, as there is in Reiki and Therapeutic Touch, if you know those. They have levels, you go through different stages, and there is sometimes a huge cost to those things. But the, with being a mother, you're a mother. If you're born a mother, you're a mother. Now, you might have psychological and things that you're dealing with, but as a mother, mom is mom. And so that's what she found in relation to the other techniques in her research. So Gary, this is some of the research we did with Gary. Basically, we did a questionnaire, five questions, stress, pain, uh, how cared for did you feel? And so we had four places that we did it. One was Amity, which was a drug rehab community. California, we had a center. Hawaii, we had a center. And Arizona, we had a center. And we did pre and post session, one, one to 10, or yeah, I guess one to 10. What was your pain level pre-session? And, and you can see, Pre-session, I mean stress level. Now interestingly enough that the uh, drug rehab community had the highest level of stress, and who had the lowest amount? <laughs> we all need to move to Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> but even in Hawaii, they had a lessening of stress in, in a five minute session. Now this drop here also is the same uh, working women, mostly in their like 40s, and high school kids, they have that same kind of drop. We actually did this in a high school, and the kids used to say, oh my god, this is better than any drug I've ever taken. <laughs> so we used to have a little sign, get your bio touch, the high that won't get you in trouble. <laughs> because at that point, they almost feel like they're passing out, you know, or they're so relaxed they want to go to sleep. Then we did pain reduction. Pain levels before, pain levels after, and you can see a drop in that just in five minutes. That's just, that's just pre and post session. The interesting thing, if you know about data, when you get this P factor of zero, it's not, zero, 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 one, less than, that means statistically significant. That means it's not happenstance. Because you had so many people, almost 900 people, that something's going on clinically. 
and, and you need to do more research when you have that kind of a P less than. And another one was relaxation, huge. I mean, here's pre and there's post. That same kind of relaxation happens if we do this on, on a major street corner, if we do it in the mall, we're gonna work on you out here just doing some neck and head work. People always open up their eyes after we're done for two or three, five minutes, and they go, wow. And I heard an interesting thing from a neurological scientist one. He said, he was talking about mind-body connection, which he didn't really believe in too much unless you could clinically prove it. He says, but what he found was people make changes in the deepest seat of consciousness when they have a wow experience. And I went, wow. <laughs> yes? How come in the previous two slides, Hawaii goes up so much uh, at, at, on a blue line? <coughs> well, well, the bottom line. Oh, it's just different people and, and the, where they rate it in the different areas. So Amity, California. Yeah. But I thought the stress level would, would drop. Did you, can you go to the previous slide? See how high Hawaii got on the red? On this one? Yeah. On this one? Compared, yeah. Compared, it didn't have as much of a No, that's the reduction of pain. No, they didn't have that much. They, we don't know what, why that is. Oh. Yeah, that's, that's true. I mean, we don't know why the areas didn't have a huge reduction or why they did. Okay. And so that's why you need more research. But to do research costs you a lot of money. <laughs> And it's really political. It's hugely political. Um, even in the alternative holistic field, oh my god, they, it's incredible the amount of money they're dumping into research and stuff. So we did this just as, as a way to, to do some data. Our goal is not to really do more research. It's to get you to do it. OK? So that was relaxation, which again, you could do anywhere and have that, that sense of the wow factor. And everybody who gets BioTouch, if nothing else happens, they have a wow. So something's changing somewhere. I don't know what that is. I don't really care. I'm not here to figure you out any more than I'm going to let you figure me out. OK? So what, how nice to have a technique where you just let people be, right? Wasn't that a song? Let it be. I should put that on. Kenneth Stevenson also did another research. He did eight domains, physical and mental. And people improved in all eight domains. And then she did a little added. She did four weeks of no touch and found out people stayed improved in the physical, but actually in their mental and emotional wobbled a little bit. That blew her away, because she thought BioTouch was of the mind, that if you believed it, it worked. What she found out, it wasn't really that way. So she actually did some DNA testing, too, but we don't have. What she did find was really interesting. She created the stress chart. If this is all we do, it's a success. Because what she did in her chart was all of these things up in here are the stresses in our life, and you can't do anything about it. You leave here tonight, and you get on River Road, guess what? Stress. Just trying to get on, especially if you're going to make a left. <laughs> trying to get out of the Whole Foods parking lot to figure out how to get to make a left. Stress. <laughs> All right? So just living in Tucson is stress. Uh-oh, here comes a pothole stress. <laughs> Social, family, you know, all these things, you know, death of a loved one, all these things create love. The environment, now we're hearing all about that. We're getting rid of the EPA and all that. So now we're all stressed out, worrying about what's going to happen. Interesting, you know, uh, diet, all those things. So we create stress in everything. Drugs, prescription medication creates stresses in our life. I just met a guy today. It's at the farmer's market, funny guy, big guy, big long beard, looked like a hell's angel guy. I said, yeah, I'm turning 65 next week. I said, oh, great, Medicare. He says, yeah, they already got me on Stanton's now, and this, I said, that's what happens when you get 65 and you get on Medicare. You start getting into that cycle. They start finding the well care programs, right? They're gonna take this test and that test, and oh my God, you got high blood pressure. Oh my God, you got cholesterol. Oh my God. So we start getting all stressed out just thinking about being stressed. Um, psychological stress, emotions, negative things, lifestyle, childhood trauma, that's getting to be much more exposed in our society now. So all these things create stress, which creates activation of accelerated aging pathways, and that creates um, immune dysregulation and cortisol dysregulation, which creates all those things we hear about. Dementia, 
cardiovascular diseases, obesity, tumors, all those things happen just from stress. Now this is by a doctor, allopathic doctor. What she found with her research was put BioTouch into the chronic stress cycle and you actually reverse those problems. That you actually improve circadian rhythms, which is that rhythm, that cortisol level, that when you sleep, you're supposed to wake up refreshed. Most people wake up, they're already tired. And then in the middle of the day, they're exhausted. They get this boost at the wrong time. So we're, we're high when we should be relaxing, and we're, we're asleep when, you know, and we're buzzing at night. So she, she says that improves your quality of life. Then she found interleukin-12, which is some kind of an enzyme protein in the body. It actually raises interleukin-12 levels. And there's nothing you can take to raise interleukin-12 levels. There's no supplement. And that is sort of, I like to, it increases, uh, fights infection and improves healthy aging. It's like a Pac-Man, it goes around and it takes cancer cells and encapsulates them. And so that it's just sort of there, it's not rampant throughout your body. So if that's all we do, we're that much ahead of the game. So we're gonna teach you how to do it, okay? So you take your dominant hand, okay? And you take the two fingers of your dominant hand and find this on yourself first. Point one is just below your breastbone in that soft tissue area. And you hold that lightly like a butterfly for six to eight seconds. And then you take that same dominant hand and you touch just to the left. If you lean your head forward, there's a big bone that pops out. And you touch just to the left of that about an inch to an inch and a half with the same dominant hand. Now we know it's very hard to see behind you. So what we want you to do is sort of turn to each other and at least find point one. If you're with somebody you know, let them touch point, I mean do point two. And if you're with somebody you know and you want to do point one, go for it. If you don't know them and still want to do point one, go for it. <laughs> Great way. So, and we'll all go around and check to see how you're doing, all of our certified practitioners. So find point two. No, to the left. Go to the left. Yeah, just whoop. Stay right here. So if, if all we had 
was knowing the greeting, and then I was just going to work on an elbow problem. There's three ways that we touch, either right on the pain, right through the pain, or slowly and deliberately we sweep lightly across an affected area. And I can do that on an elbow, on a wrist, on a knee. I can even do local work on a pain uh, back area. Or that woman who called me about the lung problem, I said, if nothing else, take those two fingers, and if I would do it on the skin, just touch around his lungs, her husband's lungs. If, if you knew nothing else, or go through the lungs, okay? Or what we'll show you now, thanks. <laughs> he is going to be healed. <laughs> all right, so you're all going to learn the second set of 17 sets of points. The next set, most headaches, uh, tension, stress, eye problems, even sinus problems. A lot of those things come from that neck area. And so we're going to teach you a real simple set of points. You've got, now you always use both hands. We do points one and one, which are basically in the middle of the neck on the sides of the large muscle. Points two and two are at the base of the skull on the sides of the large muscle. And points three and three are on the bottom of the neck on the sides of the large muscle. And you can repeatedly do that. You do each set for, I mean, each point for two, six to eight seconds. Then you can even slowly sweep across those affected areas. So go ahead and try that with one another, and we'll come around and see how you're doing. I forgot to tell you, the only thing you don't do is touch your hands together. So keep them apart. If you touch them together, you'll blow their brains up. So you have to be careful. Yeah, 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 but slow, but slow. 